Hello, I am Tolygan Ahmetov, fourth year PhD student in Robotics Engineering of SETS at Nazarbayev University. Uh, I want to thank you uh, for participating in this event. Uh, especially, I want to thank committee, uh, examiners and supervisors. Today, I will give an overview of my research on industrial safety using augmented reality and artificial intelligence. My lead supervisor is Hussein Atakamvarol, professor at Nazarbayev University. Uh, my internal co-supervisor is Tohit Alizadeh, assistant professor at Nazarbayev University. And the external co-supervisor is Erkan Kaplanolu, uh, associate professor at University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Here are the papers published during my PhD. Two journal papers, one book chapter and the conference paper. As I have mentioned already, my thesis title is Industrial Safety Using Augmented Reality and Artificial Intelligence. Uh, I posed uh, several research questions in my research. In first uh, research question, uh, we wanted to examine uh, eff efficacy of our warning system, AR-based warning system, with gear, gaze tracking and object recognition on reducing human operator inattention. Next, uh, we wanted to know the perception of uh, experience uh, in the experiments of participants with different warning modalities. Uh, in third question, uh, we wanted to know how uh, it well operates our AR warning system compared to uh, business as usual systems such as sensorized safety mats in increasing the attention of operators. Uh, <coughs> our uh, last uh, research question is can AR safety with thermal imaging increase safety in the industry? Uh, my presentation is structured as follows. Uh, I uh, start uh, by providing uh, historical background and motivation of my research. Uh, then I will uh, discuss about my two uh, my two main directions of my research. Uh, first, I will explain about AR-based warning system, which was developed to prevent inattention in industrial workers. I will uh, talk about objective and subjective measurements and their results. Second, I will uh, discuss about AR-based safety assistant with thermal imaging, uh, which was uh, designed to inc uh, decrease burn injury risk in uh, industrial workers. I will uh, explain uh, experimental procedure and the uh, results uh, about uh, study two. two. Uh, <clears throat> I will summarize my presentation by giving contributions to the research uh, in industrial safety uh, and also uh, explain limitation and suggest future perspectives in industrial safety using augmented reality and artificial intelligence. Let us start with historical background. Uh, <clears throat> I want to start with industrial revolutions. First industrial revolution uh, brought us mechanization, steam and water power, which was emerged in the late 18th century. Uh, whilst second industrial revolution uh, brought us uh, mass production and electricity uh, in the late uh, 18th and uh, uh, early uh, 19th century, uh, which trans, uh, transformed how we produce goods uh, and also it made feasible uh, goods uh, 
and it made it also affordable. Third industrial revolution uh, emerged with electronic and information technology systems and auto automatization of the system, uh, automatization of industry in the beginning of uh, 20th century. Uh, we are in the uh, fourth industrial revolution, uh, which uh, leverages cyber physical systems. This system tracks all the data in the industry and allows IoT systems using sensors uh, to uh, analyze the process in the industry. These re industrial revolutions uh, shaped our society, propile, propelled uh, our world forward, and uh, made uh, products uh, affordable to the society. Next, I want to uh, show the pie chart uh, provided by Bureau of National Statistics of Kazakhstan. The chart illustrates the <coughs> significant for a percentage of the uh, uh, accidents is uh, distributed to mining, manufacturing and construction uh, sectors. Uh, this uh, underscores the uh, importance of the uh, strict regula regulations in, uh, in industrial sector. Uh, this year, uh, we witnessed uh, we witnessed tragic event in Timurtal, which took lives of 40 miners. Uh, Kazakhstan government uh, uh, <coughs> declared a mourning day on October 29 uh, to remember uh, killed miners. This uh, event underscores the urgent need for enhanced industrial safety measures in our country, emphasizing the importance of stringent regulations and proactive safety measures to prevent such incidents in the future. Uh, here are the motivation of my uh, research. Uh, industrial incidents are unforeseen events uh, that uh, results from accident, negligence or incompetence and can result in equipment damage, injuries, spread of disease, or death. Uh, according to statistics of International Labour Organization, there are uh, more than uh, 340 incidents of uh, work-related accidents uh, worldwide on an annual basis. Uh, annual basis. More than 2.3 million di people die from injuries, disease uh, annually in worldwide. In European region, approximately 15% of these mishaps occur in the manufacturing industry. Contacts, uh, uh, contact with the moving machine can, cut, uh, can cause in cuts and lacerations between 2005 and 2011. 2011, over 20% uh, of fatal accidents in Poland occurred in while operating uh, industrial machine. Distraction or inattention is one of the major causes of uh, these accidents. Distraction is a loss of concentration on a primary task. Another type of incident is an accidental touch or mishandling of thermal, electrical, or chemical objects uh, that can result in burns or scalds. Specifically, burns result from contact with hot and dry objects or fire, uh, whilst scalds result from contact with west, wet ob hot objects or steam. Personal, uh, after mentioning the importance of uh, industri industrial safety and uh, uh, safe industrial environments, I want to uh, discuss about the personal pro protective equipment. 
Pers uh, personal protective equipment is critical, uh, is one of the critical components of industrial safety. <clears throat> it includes uh, eyeglasses for head protection, uh, eyeglasses, uh, uh, eyeglass for uh, eye protection, uh, hard heads for head protections, uh, specialized uh, earplugs for hearing protection, uh, glo uh, appropriate uh, gloves for hand protection, uh, also specialized foot uh, wear for foot protection. Uh, additionally, chaps pants can be used to uh, to protect uh, comprehensive uh, leg uh, uh, to protect like comprehensively uh, in high uh, industrial environments harnessed line yard can be used uh, these are the uh, traditional personal protective used in the industry i want to introduce augmented reality uh, glasses uh, which were certified as hard uh, which were certified as uh, personal protective equipment uh, for example, uh, trimmable XR with whole lens 2 can uh, protect head and eye. These glasses have, uh, have a hard head on top, uh, which can protect head uh, from, from uh, ex uh, uh, all, the, uh, hazard, all the falling hazards. Also, uh, it uh, includes uh, eye protection frame uh, that is uh, that can uh, protect from debris in the industry. These glass are not uh, uh, only uh, personal protective equipment. It can also uh, it is smart devices that can uh, give uh, instructions. Uh, and allow uh, users to communicate with the uh, other employees in the environment, ask questions from remote ex experts, uh, to be warned about the hazards using the sensors. Uh, one of the most uh, important uh, aspects of this AR glass is it allows a uh, new employee to get training uh, in simulated environment uh, and get uh, help from the remote experts. It also can, uh, it also uh, record uh, and document the environment. Uh, it helps uh, to increase the efficiency and control uh, for industrial safety. These glasses can revolutionize uh, PPE and also industrial uh, uh, effic efficiency in the future. I want to uh, discuss about driving factors behind my research uh, uh, in advancing industrial safety through AR and AI. Historically, AR and AI technologies technologies were not mature uh, for practical industrial safety. These constraints were due to cost and technical challenges. However, uh, <coughs> as my research progressed, uh, uh, the advancements in AR, uh, goggles and AI capabilities uh, made uh, this uh, integration feasible and cost-effective. Cost uh, specifically, miniaturization, improved sensors and powerful algorithms uh, are the, uh, enabled real-time safety enhancements. AR goggles have seen also uh, rem remarkable advancements. Uh, these are miniaturization and enhanced optics. Uh, that made AR goggles practical for industrial use. 
uh, additionally improved durability and safety features make them suitable for even the hardest industrial environments. Integration of AI uh, uh, may able, uh, enabled us to process real-time data coming from sensors, cameras, and AI displays. Machine learning uh, enables to uh, predict uh, maintenance needs and also detect hazard in the industry. I would like to give definition to augmented reality. AR is the superimposing computer-generated images on top of the real physical world, enriching it with context-sensitive holographic elements. I would like to uh, walk you through the history of AR. History of AR can be uh, traced to invention, uh, back to invention of uh, uh, invention of uh, Ivan Sutherland uh, called Sword of Democles. Uh, this uh, this uh, uh, head-mounted display uh, suspending from the ceiling uh, enabled users. Uh, to experience 3D uh, holograms uh, strapping to the, this uh, headset. Uh, this was one of the founda this was the foundation to augmented reality. Uh, fast forward to 1990, engineers in aerospace company Boeing Codeland uh, Missile implemented uh, AR instructions for uh, for schemes in the plywood plywood uh, boards, this uh, coined the uh, augmented reality term. Uh, this uh, invention enabled uh, workers in industry to de design the scheme without looking to instruction back and forth. In 1992, uh, invention uh, of Ro uh, Rosenberg uh, uh, virtual fixtures uh, <clears throat> enabled to uh, use haptic uh, interactions. These interact uh, haptic interactions uh, can exp uh, enable users to experience uh, and uh, interact with holographic elements. In 1999, one of the first open source softwares for AR was invented by Hiraku Hirokazu Kato. This encouraged developers to create their mobile uh, uh, AR-based applications. After that, in 2008, first location-based AR applications started to appear, like Wikitude. These applications uh, can, be uh, can show uh, the holographic, uh, context-sensitive holographic cues uh, using the uh, position of the user. In 2013, Google Glass made its debut. Uh, it, uh, it could uh, blend uh, holographic uh, instructions to, on top of the daily lives of the users. These uh, historical uh, events uh, made uh, to propel the AR uh, research forward. AR can be experienced using mobile, projection-based, and wearable devices. In mobile uh, AR devices, uh, uh, mobile AR devices include smartphones, tablets, or other handheld devices. Projection-based 
AR can be experienced on the surface using, project, uh, using projectors. Uh, however, in our uh, research, we did not uh, use these four two AR uh, visualization types. We used wearable AR, which can be experienced uh, uh, in untethered wearable head-mounted displays. I would like to uh, introduce noteworthy uh, state-of-the-art AR glasses uh, of our day, uh, HoloLens 2. These glasses include four, four head tracking cameras and, plus, uh, and IMU uh, that can uh, uh, create a spatial map and also track uh, head movements of the user. RGB cameras of the whole lens can be used to detect objects uh, in the field of view of the user. Depth cameras with the two uh, ranges, near and far, enable to detect head mo hand movements and uh, uh, detect the distance to the uh, objects in front of the user. Infrared eye cameras and LEDs uh, can detect eye movements, uh, also iris of the uh, user. Five uh, microphone arrays uh, allows users to give comments uh, in crowded industrial environments. Under the hood of the Holland 2, Qualcomm system on chip with CPU and GPU can process uh, machine learning algorithms with limited capability. Holographic processing unit, which includes uh, AI core and other units, uh, can generate holographic uh, elements in the field of view of the user. These AR glasses can be used uh, to enhance industrial safety uh, in the future. I want to start with my first study, AR-based warning system. We developed AR-based warning system uh, to prevent inattention uh, of users in industry. Our uh, AR uh, glasses, our system uh, implements, uh, leverages eye tracking, spatial perception and spatial sound capabilities of AR glasses and the object detection from server laptop. The efficacy of our system was tested in the simulated environment with CNC machine. The camera frames were sent to object detection uh, server. The detected uh, elements positions were sent back to Hollands to uh, overlay uh, cylindrical holograms on top of the CNC machine. We implemented three types of warnings, auditory, visual, and audiovisual warnings. These warnings can be selected using holographic buttons. I want to demonstrate the video of our system. It consists AR and AR goggles and server laptop. Here you can see HoloLens camera view and the frames sent to laptop server. In the laptop, 
object detection uh, algorithm operates to detect CNC machine. When the CNC machine is detected, the position of the CNC machine is sent to HoloLens. After that, holographic cylinder, uh, holographic cylinder is uh, overlaid on top of the CNC machine. White point uh, shows the eye gaze points. It is asked to select type of warning after that. In our scenario, we selected auditory warning system. When the user gazes away from the CNC machine, the system triggers beep sound warnings. This is the auditory warning mode. Here you can see how the system tracks eyes. Without moving head, the system can uh, track the eye movements. In visual warning, holographic error shows the direction to the CNC machine. This way, the user understands where to look at to get foc to be focused on the uh, primary job. Audio visual warning is the combination of two warning types. When the user gives away both holographic arrow and beep sound get triggered. Thanks for your attention. You can find the flowchart of the AR based uh, warning system here, which illustrates logic of our uh, system logical of operation the operation of our system when the system uh, o uh, starts uh, it activates spatial perception uh, after that it activates machine detection uh, to detect cnc machine when the cnc machine is uh, detected the position uh, on the position of the machine we overlay holographic uh, cylinder. After that, it is asked to verify the position of CNC machine. When the CNC machine's position is confirmed, it is asked to select the type of warning using holographic buttons. When the uh, <clears throat> type of warning is selected, uh, it gets activated with the first look at the CNC machine. When the uh, user is uh, when the user looks away from the CNC machine, uh, the type of uh, the selected type of uh, warning gets triggered. You can uh, find the uh, holographic uh, buttons uh, with the annotations and the uh, figures 
uh, to select the warning type. I want to stop on object recognition. We uh, employed YOLO v4 tiny model for object detection following the documentation of Pachkovsky et al. Uh, to attain optimal preference, uh, performance, we trained a mod model using transfer learning technique. Uh, <clears throat> we utilized pre-trained weights of the first 29 layers of Yellow V4 Tiny, which were originally trained on the COCO dataset. We made adjustments to the number of filters in convolutional layer that precede the 234 yellow layers of yellow V4 tiny, tuning it to 18. We collected dataset consisting of 100 images of CNC from uh, different angles and distances. The dataset was divided into training and uh, test sets to evaluate the model's uh, performance. During the training process, we configured the batch size to be 2 and used the subdivision value of 8 to facilitate efficient training. The model underwent training for 2000 epochs using specific hyperparameters. This included a learning rate of 0 0.00 to 261 and a decay rate of 0 0.0005 and a momentum of 0 0.9. We employed the mosaic augmentation technique, which expanded the dataset to a uh, total of 16,000 images uh, with an intersection of a union threshold of 0 0.5. The average precision achieved by the model was measured to be 90.3. Sample images of the CNC machine with bounding boxes can be from the data set uh, can be seen here. Uh, in visual warning, we uh, leverage holographic arrows, which indicates the direction to the CNC machine. In auditory uh, warning, we use spatial audio. This capability of AR simulated sound from position of the virtual emitter in 3D space. Spatial perception of HoloLens built the spatial map and head tracking capability tracked the user's head position and orientation. When the spatial audio was triggered, uh, hu uh, human sound localization ability can locate the source of sound based on difference in intensity, time, and frequency. To comprehensively assess the efficacy of our system uh, and uh, different warning types, we conducted two distinct sets of experiments involving human participants. Experiment 1 assessed object measurements, where a subjective measurements were analyzed in experiment 2. Here are the key steps in our experiment. Participants filled the consent and performed tasks described in the consents. It was written that participants were allowed to stop experiments whenever they want. The experimenter helped to wear smart glasses, explained each task, and answered two questions of participants. After participants wore AR glasses, eye calibration was performed, and time was given to learn to use AR glasses. After participants felt confident using uh, the glasses, experiments began. Questionnaires were filled, and semi structures semi-structured interviews were conducted after the experiments. We posed uh, our three first research questions uh, in this first uh, direction of our study. I will continue with the hypothesis. 
but we hypothesize that participants accept the warning system as beneficial overall. Uh, we uh, saw that participants prefer auditory warning to visual warnings. Lastly, audio-visual system would be the most preferred warning system according to our hypothesis. In the first experiment, um, we conducted comparative experiments where participants performed using our AR system alternative systems such as safety mat and without AR system. This was uh, Conduct, this experiment was conducted to measure efficacy of our AR system. Here in the figure you can find the safety mat uh, and the LED array with the butter. Uh, the warnings with uh, butter and the LED array uh, get, uh, uh, got activated when uh, participants stepped away from the safety map. We recruited nine participants for experiment one. Participants had to perform a simulated repetitive task on their machine for one hour. Participants wore AR glasses even when performing the task with safety map and without AR warning so that their eye movements could be tracked. The number of distractions, the average distraction duration, and the total duration of participants' distractions were assessed as de dependent variables. This is the scenario of our experiment one. Three participants perform tasks with no, war no warning condition, and other three participants uh, perform performed tasks with safety mat, uh, remaining three participants perform tasks with AR-based warning. When, per using, when uh, participants perform it, uh, the participants which were performing with AR-based warning uh, utilized uh, different types of warning. Uh, uh, auditory, visual, and audiovisual. Measurements were average duration of distraction, total duration of experiments, and number of distractions. In subjective, in experiment two, we measured, we analyzed subject, subjective measurements. We recruited 30 participants for experiment two. Three cues, audio, visual, and audiovisual, were compared according to subjective question results. After performing each ta task with a different warning modality, participants were asked to fill in five-point Likert scale questions. The post-experiment questionnaires contained questions from system usability scale and NASA task load index questionnaires to assess subjective experience. SUS questionnaire is utilized to measure subjective perception of usability of the system. NASA TLX questionnaire is used to measure participants' subjective current flow. After performing tasks and post-experiment questionnaires, participants answer the final user acceptability questionnaire that includes general questions and the sorting question according to preference of uh, participants. Questionnaire results are gathered and analyzed using mathematical and statistical modeling, specifically to key test. Here you can find the scenario of experiment two. Uh, so participants perform it uh, using all three types of warnings, but with different uh, sequences. Measurements for uh, warning type was confidence, intuitiveness, beneficiality, frustration, mental and mental demand from SUS and uh, NASA TLX questionnaires. 
in the final general measurements the metrics were order of preference uh, it is the um, it was sorted according to preference of uh, uh, participants second question was about desire to use AR in the future third uh, question was about the physical form factor of uh, AR glasses last two questions included uh, learning uh, whether the participants needed learn new things and uh, did they uh, need technical support uh, while uh, using AR classes. The results of experiment one are as follows. With audio-visual warnings, participants looked away from the machine less frequently. Participants gazed away less frequently during visual warnings than during auditory warnings. AR-based warnings preceded uh, safety mat warnings and no warning conditions, as you can see in the figure. With audiovisual warnings, participants looked away from the machine for shorter periods of time than with other warning modes. Participants reacted more quickly after auditory warning than after the visual warning. The average duration of participants' distraction varied regardless of the type of warning. The average for the total duration of, uh, duration of distractions for all three AR-based warnings was approximately six times shorter than with safety math warnings. Participants without warnings got distracted slightly for longer periods in total than participants with safety math warnings. In this figure, the case points of participants were overlaid on the real world environment in experiment one. The gaze points, uh, red gaze points, uh, show how frequently um, participants were distracted. Uh, in the figure, you can see that uh, a number of uh, red points were uh, greater in no warning systems than in safety and, and, not, and uh, AR, uh, AR uh, conditions. In the, uh, as the results of experiment two, uh, we uh, used uh, statistical analysis. According to statistical analysis, there was no significant difference in confidence, intuitiveness, beneficiality, and mental demands between among warning types. Uh, however, we uh, witnessed significant uh, difference in frustration among visual uh, between visual and auditory as well as between visual and audiovisual warnings. According to results of sorting uh, according to preference of participants, audiovisual warning was the most preferable type of warning uh, modalities. I want to continue with the second direction of my study. ARB safety assistant with thermal imaging. We implemented AR based safety assistant with thermal imaging. Uh, here, spatial perception of AR glasses, thermal perception of thermal camera, and edge computing capabilities of single board computer was utilized. Uh, par particle system holograms were overlaid on top of uh, heated uh, objects on the hotbed. Uh, to overlay the uh, two detector position, 
we utilize spatial lake recast technique. I want to show you the operation uh, of uh, the system using the video. Here you can see, as you can see, there is no hotbed and no hot objects in the field of view. The biggest screen shows the HoloLens camera view. Uh, the second uh, view is from third uh, person camera. Third view is from first person view uh, thermal camera. Last one is from third person RGB camera. When the, uh, the, the maximum temperature was 51, uh, red, uh, uh, yellow particle systems were uh, overlaid on top of the heated hotbed. As you can see, it was mildly heated to 51 degrees. When the hotbed was heated severely, uh, in our case it's 86, uh, red ho particle uh, system holograms were superimposed in the, on top of the uh, hot object. Thank you for your attention. I want to continue with the components. The system was developed to alert industrial uh, We uh, implemented AR-based system safety system that can seamlessly inform about potential dangers uh, dangerous hot objects in the workspace to industrial operators. A participant with industrial experience performed tasks with the system during the experiments. The tasks included taking different positions and looking at the machine. Last research question uh, which tested uh, on uh, the uh, on uh, enhancing safety in the industrial uh, environment uh, was uh, in this second uh, direction of our research. The system consisted of thermal camera, a single board computer and AR glasses. Uh, Lepton Flare 2.5 thermal camera was utilized to take thermal images uh, in the resolution of 60 by 80 pixels. And uh, the, uh, the camera provided 14 bit temperature data to a uh, single board computer. The uh, piece, uh, single board computer detected pixel positions of hot objects and mapped them to HoloLens image plane using homography matrix. The positions and temperatures were sent to HoloLens AR glasses. HoloLens built a special map, positioned uh, particle system uh, holograms on top of the uh, hot objects using recasting technique. Side, top and frontal views of the AR system can be seen in the figure. We used uh, 3D printed enclosure to house all three types of warnings. Specifically, we uh, placed our embedded system on top of the uh, AR glasses. In this figure, you can find how we um, mapped uh, thermal camera pixel points to AR camera 
uh, pixel points. For this, we utilized homography matrix. Homography matrix uh, can be shown with the formula. The source image point, which is thermal, was mapped uh, by uh, multiplying the homography matrix, and we uh, we uh, got a destination image point, uh, which is AR image plane. For the, this, we uh, had to calibrate homography matrix between the thermal array and the visual camera of the AR glass using checkerboard patterns. We heated checkerboard pattern printed on a paper with two halogen lamps, which resulted in a temperature differential between the white and black parts of the pattern. We achieved an average corner error of homography estimation of 7.6 pixels in visual camera Im images. This allowed us to display the thermal holograms with high spatial accuracy. You can see here halogen maps lamps uh, that was utilized to heat our chessboard pattern. Uh, the size of chessboard marker was 40 by 50 uh, centimeters. After that, we took images from uh, thermal camera and whole lens RGB camera. The matching points were uh, used to calibrate a homography matrix. Uh, resolutions of uh, thermal and whole lens images were not changed from its original size during calibration. Uh, the views from the four cameras uh, specifically third person and uh, uh, first person whole, uh, RGB cameras and uh, first person and third person uh, thermal view cameras were shown here. So green points show that the uh, mapped points uh, align with each other. Views uh, in the spectrum uh, between yellow and red were shown in the figure according to their temperature. It starts from 40 degree, which was uh, shown with yellow particle system holograms, going to uh, red color, changing uh, to high temperature. In the semi-structured interviews, the participant mentioned that he would like to use our system in an industrial environment and that he felt confident when using the system. He opened that people would easily learn to use the system and would not need assistance or learn many new things to use them. The embedded system, which includes thermal camera, Raspberry Pi and holder, was attached to the whole lens. Made, it made the wearable device less ergonomic and more cumbersome. This limitation could be mitigated by the development of new AR systems. I want to conclude my presentation uh, providing contributions of my stud studies. AR-based uh, warning system was developed to combat inattention caused by interruptions in industrial process. It utilized AI and eye uh, tracking to provide auditory, visual and audiovisual warnings. As the answer for research question one, the system reduced instances and durations of gazing away from the workplaces. Uh, for research question two, partic uh, participants expressed a preference for audiovisual AR warnings and considered them to be effective. Uh, as the answer to the uh, third research question, the warning system outperformed conventional safety maps in minimizing distractions. 
In our second study, AR-based safety assistant overlaid holograms on hot objects in 3D space to enhance perception. It was utilized, it utilized edge computing and thermal imaging for hazard detections. Participants were, uh, participants felt safer using the system. Potential of thermal imaging with AR for industrial safety was dem demonstrated. However, uh, our study had limitations. Mm. The study involved only uh, faculty and university students uh, that limited uh, broader applica applicability of our system. Future research should include diverse edge groups and industrial operators. The study also used continuous beeping sounds. We could explore different auditory cues or verbal commands uh, that might yield the uh, 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 right results. While auditory and visuals, visual cues were studied, other modalities like tactile cues uh, were not explored, leaving the room for future investigation. The system was tested by only one participant from industry for AR-based uh, assistant with thermal imaging. The number of uh, participants can be increased for this study. Low thermal camera, uh, uh, low thermal camera uh, caused limitations uh, that could uh, affect on effect, uh, effectiveness of our system. The resolution was 80 by 60 pixels and the frequency was 9 hertz. The setup with the embedded system, including the thermal camera and the Raspberry Pi, added weight, making the wearable device less ergonomic. The total weight of uh, the uh, system was 0 0.75. It includes Holland's 2. Uh, uh, it, can, um, it can cause burden for some users. Limited computing power resulted in a slow system operation with an update rate of approximately 0 0.5 frames per second. What can be improved uh, in the future? Integrating high-resolution thermal camera into modern wearable AR glasses could enhance performance and provide clearer thermal images. Second uh, potential improvement can be improving the computing power of modern AR glasses uh, that could lead to faster hologram position and overall system responsiveness. Despite limitations, the system holds potential for increasing worker safety in industrial settings by enhancing se sensory perception. Also, the, the system integration uh, the, uh, with the embedded si uh, system made the device mobile and untethered, uh, improving f flexibility and usability. Uh, there are um, various future perspectives in uh, research of AR-based safety systems. The, pot the potential of uh, AR uh, can be explored in different uh, for different hazard uh, situations to help uh, to prevent these situations uh, in the future. The vi uh, different virtual simulations should be created uh, for industrial uh, in industrial environments for training uh, purpose. It should be thoroughly examined deactivation of equipment in case of distraction or worsening of health to avoid accidents. Design the technology uh, to be uh, friendly, uh, to be uh, industry friendly is important. Um, so this can be barcodes and markers. In the realm of Internet of Things, edge computing device and algorithms for rapid processing of sensor data should be 
explored. Um, more sensors can be uh, examine, examined uh, to connect over IoT and high-speed internet for integration. Experimenting uh, different type of high-speed internet protocols to achieve rapid uh, data transmission can be critical. To study various uh, visualization methods in AR glasses is um, uh, it, it takes uh, uh, the stage here also. Incorporating diverse sensors for identifying potential hazards from a first-person perspective, leveraging warnings with different models can be our future uh, perspective uh, in industrial uh, safety. AI is the game changer uh, in industrial safety. AI models uh, that uh, can be AI models optimized for devices with limited uh, computing capabilities is critical uh, since our AR glasses have uh, limited uh, computing power. AI-based warnings using various cues based on the urgency of the situation uh, can be the uh, future uh, research perspective. One of the most important uh, parts of uh, our uh, research is human workers' perception. Studying human reaction and perception featuring varied or multiplied, multiple cues uh, can be uh, in the, uh, it can be the future perspective. Searching precise methods for detecting human attention, discovering techniques to re-engage attention or maintain focus in individuals is critical uh, for us in the future. Usability. Investigating human inclinations towards the ergonomic aspects of AR-based systems uh, can be pivotal for our research in the future. This uh, aforementioned uh, future research perspectives are important to develop industrial safety using augmented reality and artificial intelligence. Here are the references uh, for in my study uh, in my presentation. Thank you for your attention.